Oh boy, today was the official start of the season for Abbott's Lobster in Noack, and folks were lining up, of course. While the dining spot is a popular place, lobster prices may go up this summer. News 8's Tina Detail reports. It's opening day here at Abbott's Lobster in the Rough, and the weather did cooperate. Now they're hoping this season, the lobster prices do as well. Great, that's nice. more, more. Three generations of the Mears family and many of their customers gathered on this opening day. Even a couple of authors. Abbott's is the first restaurant listed in Gene and Michael Stern's Road Food. It's about regional American food. And this is the classic example. On the shore, beautiful scenery. Connecticut specialty hot buttered lobster roll. Jill Cannon was this year's first customer of the season. First lobster of the season, too. What a better place to have it. While many enjoy this popular crustacean, those who fish for lobster say, while there are plenty out there, they worry about what price they'll get for their catch once they pull into port. Are you concerned what the prices may be? We're always concerned what the price may be. Hopefully, the Canadian season is just starting. Hopefully they'll have a good catch. That'll help. There'll be more of a catch in Maine. Lobstermen up north say if they get four fifty a pound, they'll break even. So of course they're hoping for a bit more. Deirdre Mears hopes not too much more. Three weeks ago, the price of lobster was two dollars for us. It was two dollars a pound more than it is right now. Fourteen. Prices jump around the holidays and then come back down. There are fewer Long Island Sound lobstermen these days. So as Lobster Shack's author Mike Urban knows, most of these lobsters come from up north. I've heard that up in Maine and, and in Canada, uh, stocks are plentiful, prices are stable, and we'll probably get a uh, drop in the summertime. Yay! Well, that's one more lobster in local waters. Apparently, though, that one won't end up on a dinner plate anytime soon. In Noank, Tina Detel, News 8.